Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the connected textures and connected glass mod for Minecraft Java edition version 1.18.2. Some of you have been having issues of getting connected glass especially to work properly for your Minecraft Java game on version 1.18.2. So we're going to take a look at two different ways of getting connected glass and connected textures to work and how to enable them for your Minecraft Java game on version 1.18.2. Now this is going to work on either Fabric or Forge and I'm going to show you two different methods of which mods you need to use to get this working and how you can actually get connected glass to work properly and how you can get connected textures to work as well. As you guys can see behind my character I do have some connected glass there and it's a really smooth looking glass pane there and this is done on the Fabric mod loader so if I press F3 on my keyboard you guys can see on the top left there it does say Minecraft version 1.18.2 and it says Fabric loader 0.18.2. 13.3 so I am using fabric here and I am able to get connected glass on fabric as well you can obviously do this on forge as well and I'm going to show you two different methods that you guys can do today on getting this to work for your Minecraft game on version 1.18.2. If I go into my mod section here, you guys can see that I do have a couple of mods installed here that are gonna help me get this connected textures and connected glass effect inside my Minecraft game. All right, so if we actually look at the first method of getting connected textures and connected glass to work in our Minecraft Java game, by default, when you do have a block of glass connected to each other, you will see that it does have the border lines there. So as you guys can see, I have gone ahead and turned off the connected textures effects there and you can see that we do have the lines going across on the borders of the glass there now if I was to enable the connected textures mod for this it would actually get rid of those lines and it would give it a nice clean look for the glass to obtain a connected texture or connected glass look what we need to do is get a few mods installed as I mentioned earlier I am on the fabric mod loader and the mods that we are going to require on the fabric mod loader on version 1.18.2 are as follows so obviously first of all make sure that you guys do have have mod menu installed you will need that I am also going to leave a link in the description where you guys are going to be able to download all of these mods and I'll leave links to each one of these individual mods and how to get everything set up so do make sure that you guys follow that link it is going to give you more detail on how to get everything set up so make sure first of all that you guys have got fabric and fabric API installed and then make sure that you do have mod menu installed as well the next mod we are going to require is sodium now sodium is a performance based mod it's not really going to be required for connected textures or connected glass but it does actually help in reducing lag so if you guys are running fabric I would recommend you guys get sodium as well and if you guys want some shaders as well I think the connected glass actually looks really nice with shaders enabled so do go ahead and get iris shaders mod as well that is going to help you get shaders set up after that you'd also need another mod called indium Indium is basically going to allow you to use other mods with Sodium and it's going to give you that compatibility with other mods. And finally, the main mod for the connected textures and connected glass is actually called Continuity. And Continuity basically allows you to have the connected textures and connected glass in the fabric environment. And thanks to Indium, it's going to make it compatible with Sodium. As I mentioned earlier, you don't really need Sodium or Iris shaders, but I would recommend that you guys get those things to give yourself a nice performance boost as well. Once you have installed all all of these mods the next thing you need to do is go into your options click on resource packs and you should have two resource packs showing in the available section and it's going to say continuity default and continuity glass paint culling and what we need to do now is enable both of these so as you guys can see in the selected column I've got continuity default and continuity glass paint culling I'm going to click on done and now after I've done that, I'm going to click on done and go back inside my game. And as you guys can see, I now have the glass showing as connected there. And it's not showing the borders that it was showing before. And the glass looks nice and neat there. You will notice it does have those three dots on the top left corner there of each glass pane, as you guys can see over there. Now, some of you actually don't like this. And to actually get rid of that, you can actually install another resource pack. So let's go back inside our options. Click on resource packs. There is another resource pack that we can enable, which is called the Better Clear Glass bordered and if we click on this and enable that so make sure that the better clear glass bordered resource pack is showing in the selected section make sure that the continuity resource packs are also in the selected section because they are required for the other connected textures so if I click on done 
you guys can see that it has gotten rid of the three dots on the top left corner of each block there you will see it on the first block there on the left corner there but on the other ones it won't be visible so it will give you that nice clean look for the glass that you guys have been looking for so this is the resource pack that you can get alongside continuity as well and hopefully this should actually help you get the connected textures and connected glass inside your game so to summarize that you need to get the mod continuity installed if you're using so Sodium, get indium as well and then get iris shaders and sodium as I mentioned earlier I am using some shaders so as you guys can see I'm using the complementary shaders which have been enabled as well to give it that nice look as well in the background after you have done that click on resource packs and make sure that the continuity default and the continuity glass paint culling resource packs have been selected and they are showing in the selected column on the right hand side here and you can also go ahead and get the better clear glass bordered resource pack as well and enable that and hopefully that should give you a result that looks like mine at the moment with a nice clean glass look there. As I mentioned earlier, this mod also allows you to have connected textures as well. So if I place down some sandstone here, you guys can see that it actually connects it as well. So as you guys can see, it is connecting the sandstone. Now let me go back and disable these resource packs. As you guys can see, there is a line now showing across the top of the blocks there and on the top there as well, obviously. So you can see that the sandstone is not being connected at the moment. However, if I was to go back and enable the continuity resource pack there, it is going to connect them. So as you guys can see, it has now connected the sandstone block like so. So if you guys are looking to get connected glass or connected textures and fabric, then this is the first method that you guys can do to get everything set up and how to get everything working on the fabric environment on version 1.18.2. I'm not going to show you a different method of how to get connected glass working in your game. So if this method is not working for any reason, then hopefully the second method should work for you. Alright, so the second method of actually getting the connected glass and connected textures to work for your Minecraft to Java game in version 1.18.2 is to use Optifine. Now, if you guys are running the Fabric Mod Loader, you can just get the Optifabric mod and that will allow you to use Optifine with Fabric. Now, bear in mind that it's not going to be compatible with Sodium, so if you guys like to use Sodium, then you won't be able to use Optifabric. So you will have to decide if you want to use Optifabric or if you want to use Sodium. The choice is completely up to you. In this example, we are going to use Optifabric and if I press F3 on my keyboard, you guys can see that I am on Minecraft 1.18.2. And again, this is the Fabric Mod Loader version 0.13.3. And if I go into my mod section here, you can see that I do have Optifabric installed and I do have Optifine placed inside the mods folder. If you guys just follow the link in the description, it is going to show you which version of Optifine to get that is working with Optifabric. So do make sure to check out that link in the description and it is going to show you which mods to get to get everything working and how to get the connected textures to work as well all right so once you have gone ahead and installed optifabric and optifine then hopefully your glass should be connected now if for any reason your glass is not showing as connected what you need to do is go into your options here click on video settings and now if you click on quality there is a optifine setting which is called connected textures as you guys can see it is currently set to off on my system now if i click into it it is showing as connected textures fast. If I click into it again, it is showing as connected textures fancy. For some of you, it may only show the fast option, but on mine, it is showing the fancy option. So I am gonna go ahead and enable the connected textures fancy option there. And as you guys can see, the glass is now connected. And so are the sandstone blocks over here. We're not seeing that line on the top of the bottom blocks there, as you guys can see. As I mentioned earlier, for those of you who don't like those three dots showing on the top left corner there, you can actually go ahead and enable the resource pack, which is called better clear glass border so let's go ahead and do that now and as you guys can see it has gotten rid of those three dots there and the glass looks really nice and clean as you guys can see from that effect i do like that clean glass look i think it looks really cool so do go ahead and check out that other resource pack which i mentioned earlier so to summarize all you guys need to do is get optifine now if you guys are on forge you can just get the optifine file and drop it into your mods folder and with forge it should work again i will leave a link in the description it will show you which version of optifine to get that is going to be working with forge it's also going to show you which version of forge to get which is going to be compatible with the latest release of optifine so do go ahead and check out that link in the description 
hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully if you guys have been having issues and have been wondering how to get connected glass and connected textures on Minecraft Java Edition on Forge and Fabric on version 1.18.2 then hopefully this video would have answered your queries and for those of you who have been having issues of getting the connected glass to work then hopefully either one of these two methods would have helped you out. If you do have any further problems with getting the connected textures or connected glass to work on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.2 then do leave them in the comments section below I will do my best to try and help you guys out and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and I'll see you guys next time thank you for watching